Hi, this is Sudeep and I welcome you back to this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with Start Pro. We have covered significant grounds by now and we have completed the modeling of geometry of the structure. But before going into the modeling of uh, materials and properties, there is one thing that is left to cover and that is called the base unit settings. But I have to do a little demonstration for you to establish the problem statement. But before I do that, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and join us in this wonderful journey. So now let us create the same goalpost frame model that we had been working with. So let us create a new stat file and let us name it as base unit change, goalpost frame. Sorry, goalpost frame underscore base unit change. And let us select our options as analytical. Let us select the units as metric and let us click on the create button so that we are in the modeling area. Now we remember the various coordinates that we had for this goalpost frame. So our first node had coordinates of 0, 0, 0. The second node had coordinates of 0, 3, 0. We are defining it in units of meters as you can see. The third node had units, uh, sorry, the coordinates of 5 meters, 3 meters, and 0 meters. And the fourth node had coordinates of 5 meters for x, 0 meters for y, and 0 meters for z. So we had the four nodes created. Now let's create the member incidences. So the first member is created between node 1 and node 2. The second node, the second member is created between node 2 and node 3. And the third member is created between node 3 and node 4. So we can see that the goalpost frame is now complete. Now that we have defined the model, let us go into the text editor by going to utilities command file and see what has been registered there. You'd be surprised to see if you look into any one of the coordinates, say let us look at this particular coordinate here for node number three. It was supposed to be having an x coordinates of five meters 3 meters and 0 meters, but instead we see that it has 5 meters all right, but then there are several digits that follows the decimal numbers. Similarly, for the y coordinate, it was supposed to be 3 meters, but you see that it is 3 point something, you know, it's a series of numbers after the decimal points. So, what has happened? So we will find that out in some time. So what's happening here? This is an indication of inconsistent base unit settings. Now what is this base unit setting? Well, this is the unit system in which STAT would save all the numerical specifications. So to understand the current base unit settings in my machine for STAT Pro, you have to come out of the STAT file. So let's come out of the text editor first. and. We go to file and close the stat file. So we have come out of the stat file. Now for the universal settings, we need to go to the configure option. And if you go to the configure options, you see this option of base units. And you can see that the base units has been specified as English units while I had been working with the metric units. So what's happening here is that I'm specifying my joint coordinates in metric units, that's in meters. And the program, because the base unit settings is in English, it's saving those specifications in English units, that is in inches. And when it writes that back into the text editor, it reconverts that into the metric or the meter units. Let me show you this. 
So let us consider the case of how the joint coordinates of 5 meters has been converted to such a strange number. So as said before, we have the working units in metrics, metric where we were using the meter unit to specify the length units for joint coordinates, but the base units has been set to English. Let us consider how the program would save the value of 5 meters internally. Now we have 1 meters as 39.37 inches. So 5 meters would be multiplied by 39.37 to yield a converted value of 196.85 inches. Now to the next phase of this problem where the saved value in inches unit is to be reconverted back to meter units for writing in the text editor. So 196.8504 inches is to be reconverted back to metric units. The conversion equation that we will now use is that 1 inch will be equal to 0 0.0254 meters. So 196.8504 inches will be multiplied by 0 0.0254 to get an equivalent value in meter units. And lo and behold, it's not the same as 5 meters and we have a few digits after the decimal places. So that is exactly what happens when you see those values, those strange values for joint coordinates in the text editor. So it's not necessary to harp on this, but it's not a good practice to have inconsistent base units and working unit settings. It's always advisable that if you are working in English units, your base unit settings needs to be in English units. And if you are working in metric units, the base unit settings needs to be in metric units. Though the difference that would be caused because of the inconsistency would be very small, but still it would be advisable to have a consistent base unit settings. So I will now change the base unit settings to metric as I intend to work with the metric units. I click on OK and my base units has been changed to metric. Now the base unit setting is a universal setting. You do not need to change it every time you go and create a new stat file. Once you set it, it will hold for all the stat files that you create from there on. So with this, we complete the geometrical modeling of structures in Stat Pro. In the next session, we will start focusing on the modeling of properties and materials. So I hope you have liked what we have discussed today. And if you have, please hit the like button. And please do press the bell icon for more notifications from the Structural Insider channel. See you in the next one. Till then, 